Hey guys, welcome back to DeFi DJ and Strip and Farm for Poverty, where on this channel, our vision is to empower the impoverished and help you find financial freedom through crypto assets. If you like that mission, you resonate with the vision, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. And please uh, hit the like button or leave a comment so that we can reach more people and actually make an impact and reach that vision that I have set out for this channel. So today I'm going to give you an update on my bot. It is currently running and should compound this next one in the next three minutes. You might see this in the video, so if I keep the video short, you will see that. But let's first take a look at uh, where we were at. So this is um, yesterday at roughly, I think about 5.30. I took this screenshot, so I had 690 plants at 5.30. It is now currently 12.30, so seven, about 19 hours have passed. I was supposed to be getting a plant every one hour and two minutes. So obviously that would have uh, required me to be compounding in the middle of the night, but that's what the bot is for. So what I did is I took uh, this is a screenshot of the bot running. So it's looking for the MetaMask as of yesterday. That's when I had 69, 690 plants. So just showing you that to give some transparency. Um, and this was the BNB balance. So I can show you how much BNB I had at that time uh, before this started. And we'll look at now, um, after this, uh, these are the hours or the time it should have compounded. So from the next compound at 6.30 all the way until now, I should have roughly 19 plants, 18 to 19 plants, um, if I didn't miss any. So show you behind the scenes of what took place. I do have 16 as of right now. The next one will compound in one in two minutes. Um, and you can see the bot running actually here on my Google Chrome. Uh, it's a separate extension. I'll show you behind the scenes how that works. But um, basically there is some uh, issues with the bot that I've run into. Uh, this is it running in the background. So it's running in the command prompt and it's basically looking for a trigger. I think it looks every couple of seconds, multiple times in one minute so that you don't miss any, uh, what would you call it, um, fractional, seeds available so we'll let this run and let the trigger so you can see it happen in real time and then i'll explain what happened on the back end from the blockchain so you can actually see the transactions so there it goes we're at zero plants now so it's waiting for this trigger we'll scroll up and it should show you so it just went to the counted down for one minute mark so it's still waiting for this to update once it says compound available in the button below, then the bot will detect that and then it will compound automatically. So let's give it a couple of more seconds and see what happens. So as you see, I'm not touching the screen or doing anything with it, uh, but the bot is still waiting for the trigger. When the trigger pops up, then MetaMask will pop up and then it will confirm the MetaMask transaction. So it's still waiting on the trigger as of right now see where it's at I think because the one minute countdown is actually still seconds in the background so it just doesn't show the fraction of seconds so it's not completely one whole LP because you can see that there's actually plants ready to sow it says zero plants it doesn't actually say one yet so when that says one then the bot will detect that and compound that one plant there it goes now it's one you just saw the trigger it popped up really quick couldn't show you that but you see metamask is coming up and once that finishes loading, then the bot will confirm the transaction. Boom, done. And then it's processing on the back end on the blockchain, and then it will say transaction complete or successful. I forgot what MetaMask says, and it'll reset. So there's still a slight delay based on you know internet speed and maybe because I'm running this video, but boom, there goes one plant, right? So it works pretty well. Like I said, there's some slight hiccups and that's what we're gonna look at now. So that already compounded, but I'll show you now. So this is what it was doing on the background. So, like I said, um, now I have 17, 706, 707, sorry. So this will say, uh, so I've done 17 plants since that video. I should have had 19 or so, but let's look at the behind the scenes. So here are the transactions. So this is the, 
only issue I've had so far with the bot, and it's that I think when my computer goes into low resources and the monitor shuts off, because I do have it, uh, it's not it's running at night, but I don't have the monitor up or anything like that, what happens is the bot is trying to compound the same plant more than once. So these were good, um, but we get into here, so 23, 22, that's one hour, that's one hour, that's one hour. But all of a sudden we get here, and you can see this is within minutes of each other, 8, 58, 56, 56, 54. That means this one transaction the bot tried to approve multiple times, meaning it was faster than the blockchain could let the bot know that it had already been done, so the button was still available, so it said, hey, the trigger's still there, I'm gonna run it again. The trigger's still there, I'm gonna run it again. And this happened multiple times. <laughs> Um, throughout the night, uh, some more than others, but on average, it was about four times, sometimes five, but on average four. But the good news is that it ran, and the other good news is that that's only nine to ten cents per transaction. So when you look at this, you can see that it costs uh, 0 0.09 uh, USD, basically, on average, 0 0.09. So what that means is it costs me, you know, about 45 if it ran five times, 45 cents or 36 cents. But the good news, again, is that it did run. Uh, here was a hiccup, so it missed some here. Don't know what happened, but I restarted the bot. It caught back up, ran, 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 and then it just did this one. So what I did prior to this is I went and looked at the total amount of BNB and the amount of BNB that I had in the previous, uh, this value here, and did a subtraction to see how much this whole thing actually cost me. So I just took these two values to find out how much it would have cost and put them here in the calculator and it's 0 0.01529475 BNB. That total price as of you know a couple of minutes ago was $5.60 USD. So if we do this on the calculator, 5.60 uh, divided by uh, 16 plants, not the one I just did, it's 35 cents per plant to compound. Should have cost nine, cost me 35. So it's four times more than what it should have cost. However, what we can look at is a plant uh, price right now is about $1.77. Remember, I'm getting plants per hour, so we can use that value to say that one plant is $1.77 because I'm getting about a plant per hour. So that's the equivalent. So that means I'm getting 1.77 minus the 35 cents. So I got $1.42. Then I can divide that by 1.77. And my ROI is still 80%. I made 80% return on investment for the 35 cents that it cost me to compound the plant. It should have been cheaper, yes, but this just goes to show you it is worth it to compound as often as possible. You're not going to outpace the decay, but in terms of a return on investment, um, it is there because when drip goes back up, um, this will have played a major role because I'll have more plants, so uh, or seeds that I'm able to equivalent uh, to make seeds. So, long story short, um, if you are have I'd say about you're doing more than 12 plants per day, so that's every two hours. I would say the bot is a good idea. It's still buggy. I don't believe a lot of people in the group had the same problem as me. He's also made another version. I haven't tested it yet, so maybe the newer version fixes it, but other people didn't say they had this issue. So it could just be me and the resources and the timing and you know, internet from Cambodia to wherever the blockchain authenticates it, I don't know. But just wanted to be transparent and tell you guys, yeah, there is some bugs. I have not had any virus issues or uh, stealing my seed phrase, it doesn't ask for your seed phrase. So I can personally say from my experience, it's been easy, no issues, it seems legit. Uh, do your own research, go into the group, ask questions if you're uncertain. I'll leave the link to his uh, telegram, I'm sorry, to the bot installation here. So what happens is you'll need to install Python, he's got that here. You'll need to go to Google Chrome and get the Chrome driver um, that's separate. And then this uh, is the package for the bot. So you'll go to this website, you'll get the full package for the bot. In the bot package, once you download it's a zip file, you'll extract it, you'll get these three, four files. This is the actual bot. 
This is Chrome driver. It's just basically Google Chrome in a slimmed down version. Even if you have Chrome already on your computer, this is just a plain vanilla Chrome by itself. It comes legitimately from Chrome. It's what developers use to put into kits. It's not a virus. Your virus detection shouldn't even pick it up because there's nothing malicious in here. The code or script for the bot just runs this and you have to actually, once it's running, in this Chrome window itself, you will have to install MetaMask on this and import your seed phrase. So this is like a fresh installation of Google Chrome on your computer and it runs independently of your other Chrome or Brave or whatever you're running. Um, so it's completely independent of everything else, doesn't touch anything. And then the other cool thing within this is this user.json file which I have open here. When you get in here, you can put your email in and if there's an error, it'll send you an email. Um, and you can tell the bot how often you want to compound. I'm telling it every one plant so that it compounds every single plant that I get. This is also a cool feature he added where you can tell it how often you want it to sell. So if you want to sell every other plant, you can put this to two. So we'll compound one, sell the second one, compound one, sell the second one. Uh, what I plan to do when I'm getting about 30 plants per day I want to sell 33% or one third. So I'll say every third plant I want you to sell. And that means every two plants, it will be compounded. So compound two, it'll sell one. Compound two, sell two, sell one. Um, so that is a cool feature because then I can actually start to process that uh, strategy I made. So I want to keep this short, but what I'm getting at is I think this is good for anyone that's got a decent amount of plants and they're unable to do this on their own, especially if you're working or sleeping. <laughs> uh, give that a shot. Again, I'll leave the link. Do your own research. Jump in a Telegram group that he has here. Ask some questions. Everybody's in there. Super helpful. Um, I haven't had a single issue. I've gone through three or four different versions of his bot and never had any malicious software or malware or anything pop up on my screen. Um, he seems like just a legit dude and what's cool about him is that he's trying to provide value and make this stuff free Whereas other youtubers will tell you you have to pay for it join their team. It's only for them You know, that's bullshit So I'm sharing this with you guys to shout him out and let you know that I am using it. You saw it proof is here um, Do with it what you want not financial advice, of course But the name of the game for me is to get as many plants as possible and this bot helps me do that and um yeah, so far, so good. So take a look. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Until then, lift daily, achieve your impossible. Peace.